Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Jill and this is Collagen Nation, my YouTube channel all about how to restore collagen to your skin and also today something brand new that I haven't done before on this channel. I'm going to use the Easy Injector mesotherapy device with PRP for hair restoration. So in just a few minutes, you're gonna meet my husband, Jamie. He's going to be my guinea pig today. And I'm going to be using the Easy Injector to inject his platelet-rich plasma into the top of his scalp where he's had some hair loss for probably the past 15 years. I'm also gonna to try to troubleshoot a few of the issues that I've been experiencing with the Easy Injector, just to see if maybe changing the settings or uh, playing around with the setup will help alleviate some of the uh, leakage issues I had and the issues with the section. So it's been about 10 days since I shot my last video and um, did my mesotherapy with platelet-rich plasma. And um, I'm happy to report that I had like pretty much zero downtime. Um, as I expected, the marks on my face and the little bit of pinpoint bleeding that I had were, was completely gone by the next morning. And um, I think that's a huge upside to using the Easy Injector because with uh, with the Dr. Pen microneedling device, you're you're pretty much looking a little bit rough for a couple of days, and I can honestly say that um, that my skin looked really good the following days after the mesotherapy treatment with the Easy Injector. So for today's video, I am going to show you what a mesotherapy treatment to the top of the head looks like. And I think it's gonna be pretty quick um, because there's really not like a ton of surface area. Um, I'm going to introduce you to my husband, Jamie, and um, he can tell you a little bit about what he's been through with the past couple of years in terms of you know different treatments for um, you know his hair loss. So if you've been experiencing any hair loss, whether you're male or female, there is quite a bit of clinical evidence out there right now which suggests that platelet-rich plasma applied uh, with either mesotherapy or even topically with um, with a microneedling treatment can restore hair loss and actually build stronger hair. Um, I would say that this is probably one of the most exciting applications of platelet-rich plasma out there right now. So um, I'm gonna try to find some articles and link them below in the description um, if you'd like to learn more. I think it's really important to share this information. It's not just my opinion and what I'm you know, interested in, but um, you know, this is backed by science. So um, I'm really excited to show you that a platelet-rich plasma mesotherapy treatment for hair loss can be done at home. If you've been watching some of these videos that I've been doing for the last couple of months, I, I hope you like them. And um, if you're interested in what I'm up to with platelet-rich plasma, please hit that subscribe button. Um, I am putting out videos much more regularly now, so you can expect to see something from me, I think every 10 days. So um, yeah, I hope you subscribe and we'll be seeing a lot more of each other. And as always, if you have any questions, please do feel free to comment. And if you're interested in trying out platelet-rich plasma, or if you have any questions about what the procedure is all about, um, yeah, please fire away. Okay, I'm gonna go check on Jamie. His scalp should be numb by now, and I will see you in just a minute. So we're back, and this is my husband, Jamie, who has so graciously volunteered to be my guinea pig for this video. Um, Jamie has pretty great hair actually, but we're just starting to see um, some baldness on top that he's been dealing with for about the past 15 years. And yeah, you've had some pretty good results with Rogaine and Propecia so far. Yep, so um, about the age of 22, 23, I started noticing it was thinning on top. I started using Propecia um, back then, and then about five, six years ago, I heard that using 
Propecia and Amro game was, um, was effective, so I did that. Um, I think I've noticed it even getting better with the two products. It and definitely hasn't gotten worse over the last 15 years. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's what, like whatever, you're a 42-year-old guy, like you've got some balding. It's no big deal, but I'm pretty excited to see if we can use mesotherapy with PRP to uh, regrow some hair. I'm in. <laughs> he doesn't have a choice. <laughs> So yeah, so if you watched my previous videos about how to put the Easy Injector together, I'm doing something a little bit different this time. Um, I put the vacuum tube on top. So you can see the needle cartridge is attached and instead of putting the, uh, the vacuum tube on the bottom like I did before, I'm gonna try it on the top to see if that might help with some of the leakage and suction issues I was having before. So full disclosure, um, we have tried using PRP with microneedling one time before and I don't know, like I, I can't really say that you had like a fantastic result with the microneedling pen. Um, the pen is sort of like, it's difficult with hair in the way. So yeah, like we never really noticed a difference in like your hair growth after that, right? No, I don't think you're supposed to maybe the first time, but. That's so true. Like it's really important if you're gonna try this at home that you probably need like at least three treatments. So you are good and numb, we hope. Um, how are you feeling? Like Good. Yeah. yeah, it's hard to tell if you're numb on the top of your head. But... Yeah. In some ways, the top of the head is a good, um, it shouldn't be too painful because there's not a lot of nerve endings up there. So um, yeah, I don't, I, I think you're gonna be just fine. You'll let me know <laughs> if I'm hurting you. Um, and yeah, let's get started. Okay, so turning back on, um, I've got the platelet-rich plasma all loaded up. I'm using the five mil syringe, so I'm on that setting mode is dose and we're going to start out at 300 um, microliters to start just to see if that's a good amount and at speed five. First thing always always um, I'm going to use some rubbing alcohol to disinfect the scalp. When we numbed you it was pretty goopy so he had a shower to get rid of all the, the numbing gel so you're pretty good and clean right now. Okay, so yeah, a little bit awkward here. Hopefully I'm in focus and you can see kind of what we're doing, but I am sterilizing the top of Jamie's scalp. You look like a monkey. Why do you look like a monkey? You look like a monkey. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna edit that out. Okay, and of course, because I'm using somebody else's platelet-rich plasma, uh, gloves are very important. <laughs> that make you nervous? <laughs> So for the first one, I'm, I'm gonna try to find like the flattest part of Jamie's scalp. Um, heads are bony and weird, so it's, um, it's good to kind of start out in a spot where you know you're gonna be able to get a decent injection. Ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, do you feel anything? Yeah. What do you feel? Uh, just a little prickly. A little prickly. Um, coming out the top so I'm going to decrease the um, I'm going to decrease the volume so instead of 300 I'm going to yeah decrease it to 150 and maybe I will just try a higher speed let's try speed 3 see what that does 
How's it feel? Yeah, not bad. Okay. You're doing great. How's it feel? Yeah, fine. Totally tolerable? Yep. if like the sensation changes at all for you. Yeah. Feeling the same as before? Yeah, it's all felt pretty consistent. Maybe the faster setting is a little less painful. Is it? Okay. Mm. That oh. one hurt a little bit. That one hurt a little bit. You're going outside of the area that was numb? Outside of the numb zone. <laughs> so I am like kind of massaging in the platelet rich plasma that's just kind of on the surface here. But um, yeah, it's definitely not like dripping everywhere. So I am pretty, I'm confident that a lot of it is getting underneath the scalp. How's that? Good, I feel like I can feel a suction there more. Oh good, okay, well that's really good. Yeah, it's hard because the scalp skin is tight. So it's not like, um, it's not like on your face. About that one. Can you feel that section? No. But not uncomfortable, right? Like you're you're cool with this? Yeah, I'm okay. okay. The pain is getting seems a little worse. I don't know why. It's because I've been increasing the needle depth this whole time. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't gonna mention that. <laughs> okay, so I'm um, I'm done with the first five mils, and I'm going to I've got another two mils left of platelet-rich plasma that I'm going to put into the syringe, and I'm gonna change up the view so that you can see from the top uh, what I'm doing. You're doing great. This like we're almost done. Okay. Yeah, that was a little painful there. Okay, so we're back on. Jamie, say hi. Hi. <laughs> yes, this is a little bit awkward, um, but I really wanted to give you guys a view of like what I'm doing here. So um, I'm gonna try to do this. So see, I'm placing it kind of like flush against the scalp. <laughs> Take it off, and then you can see there, see some of that yellow stuff that comes coming out that is a little bit of platelet rich plasma. See, there's really like very minimal bleeding. Zoom in a little bit more for you here. We're like almost done here. A little ways to go. There we go. So yeah, we've got, I would say about two and a half mils left. So we're just gonna try to finish up quickly. Um, James is being a total champ. Okay, we're done. <laughs> we did it. I survived. <laughs> that took, like, it was so fast, um, like way faster than me doing my own face. So I think you tolerated it pretty well. It was fine. It was fine, yeah. Um, do you think you could do it by yourself? No. No? No. Do you think that if you had like a mirror, you could do it by yourself? I think it would be very hard to get the right angles. And I mean, yes, it's possible, but it'd be difficult. 
I think you could do it by yourself if you really wanted to. <laughs> the answer was yes, Jamie. Oh. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> I'm happy to do it. I'm, of, of course I would do it for you. But, um, are you gonna let me do it again? Yes, especially if I see some <laughs> results or if I think it's working. Okay. It, it wasn't, pain wise it wasn't rough. Uh, it would be better if it went more quickly and I think the numbing was more effective in some areas and then other areas not so good. And then there's also the size of the needle depth that you use. Yes. Because it wasn't painful at all at first and then she increased the needle size and then it got more painful. So the first 10 times were no problem at all. Yeah, but we were having tons of leakage, so I had I had to increase the needle depth so that we got a good result. So yeah, I mean, I think the scalp is tough because it is so, it's such an uneven surface, um, and you really do have to press hard, which again, sorry, that's maybe why it was a little painful, but you have to press hard so that you get that that nice, nice flush surface to um, for the needles to inject the PRP. So I think we did it. Um, I hope to have another video with you in like maybe a month's time, maybe like six weeks. See if there's maybe a little bit more hair there. And yeah, we'll do it again. All in the name of science. <laughs> all in the name of science. <laughs> not vanity, not at all. <laughs> well, thank you so much for doing this and thank you for watching. Um, I hope everyone is staying safe and sane in the middle of this pandemic and hopefully you're not torturing your husband at home the way that I am with mine. Um, but yeah, hope you guys are all doing great and I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.